Hi guys, I'm up here near Fox Creek in the northwest part of the province uh, and visiting Halo Exploration. Uh, Jeff is the president and uh, Jenna is the geologist for this particular play. They're doing some amazing work. I wanted to come out and visit Jeff because this is one of only five or six rigs doing exploration work in the province right now. That's a result of the COVID crash in oil prices and there's just no capital available to invest. But these guys have done an amazing job taking a, a play here that's been overlooked in the oil industry for decades, doing some really innovative things, and we think they may be on the cusp of a major new development. And the reason I dropped by, Jeff, was to show Albertans that the entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well, and there is a future for oil and gas in this province. Tell, tell us about this. Yeah, certainly. Premier Kenny, start with a great thank you. Uh, we are so pleased that you're here to visit. Uh, this has been a labor of love. This has been a long time coming. We're one of only a few operators that's taken two full Monty section cores. We spent a ton of time and effort. We've, over the last year, been able to successfully raise equity. That that ink dried on that deal about four weeks ago when we had a rig mobilized, and here you see it. We, uh, we hit total depth today, and uh, we're running a production liner or frack liner right now, and we are just thrilled. Jenna, tell us what's exciting is as a young geologist to be on this play that other people have overlooked. You've found some amazing stuff here. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, you know, it's just really been, as Jeff said, a labor of love. I've been working with the team for about six years. On this particular project, it's been about four years. So taking those cores has really changed our lives, just being able to really, you know, use my technical ability to uh, really enhance our knowledge in the asset. We're lucky to be in this area that's been overlooked and a lot of that is because of the technical rigor that we've put into looking at more. Exactly. You know Jenna, one thing I always say, sometimes we have people who don't understand oil and gas think that this is a old industry and it's not about tech or innovation. Nothing could be further from the truth. No industry invests more in tech and innovation and environmental protection than this industry. And I'll, just to give you some examples, the, this play has been overlooked in the past, but now we have technologies like obviously horizontal drilling and fracking. A lot of that technology was developed, patented, came out of Alberta, spread all around the world. Synthetic uh, pr pr uh, refining of oil. Um, uh, just this past week, I was at the carbon capture uh, storage project uh, at Shell Scottford. I mean, obviously the oil sands themselves, all of these things, like this play behind us that you're on right now, this is the result of science, technology, innovation, patient capital working away at this, right? So Halo's a great example of the old Wildcat spirit using modern technology and a lot of grit and determination. Not easy to raise a buck for supporting these kinds of jobs. I just, on behalf of Albertans, want to thank you guys and the people standing behind you, working with you, for having the confidence in this province. You know, these are tough times, but I, I always quote Brett Kissel, tough times don't last, but tough people do. You are tough people, and we're gonna get through this together. Thank you. Thank you, cheers. <laughs> Thank you.